we're gonna take this basic 3D text and turn it into a cool artwork using the fisheye lens effect in Blender. We're gonna go through the step by step creating a highly customizable setup and by the end of this tutorial you just need one click to put this text into any environment and it'll blend perfectly. So let's go. Starting with the base setup, we're gonna need a camera and a text. So press Shift A and add one camera. I'm gonna rotate it and position it to be facing upwards a little bit. And after that, press Shift A and add a text as well. Move and position it to be facing towards the camera. And you can go to the text setting as well, add some extrude to it and add some bevel to it as well. After that, change it to any font that you like. Press Tab to edit the text and write the words or the cover art song name that you want. Now going into the camera view, I'm positioning both these words to be facing nicely towards the camera. Now turning on the render view, we can get started with the environment for our text. To set up the environment, I'm using this HDRI from Polyhaven and after downloading, go to the shader editor in the world setting and press Ctrl T to add all these nodes. Let's open the HDRI in this environment texture and our HDRI is set up. Going to the camera view, now we can create the fish eye lens effect. So going to this camera settings, we're gonna change the lens type here to panoramic and you can see the camera is changed here. There's a bit of option here, but the one we're looking for is mirror ball. As you can see, a cool mirror ball is formed creating a fisheye lens effect. You can press shift F to control the camera as well and move it around the text. Just a quick tip here, to control the environment, we can make use of this mapping node and the environment will go around the text. Increasing the strength a little bit, we can add some more things here in our world setting to enhance the look. The first thing that I'm adding is an RGB curves node. This makes it easier to control the bright and the dark areas. So just increase the contrast a little bit here. And after that, adding a hue saturation node as well to control the colors and the saturation of our environment. So if you made it this far, the next part is gonna tie it all together. We're gonna start with the materials for our text. Let's go to the material tab and create a new material. I'm gonna switch the shader editor to the object mode and here we can create our material. Increasing the metallic to be full and changing the color to this bright orange. You can play around with the roughness as well and once you're happy with it, add the same material on the second text as well. If I press shift F and move the camera around, we can see it's creating some cool and distorted fish eye effect angles. So just have fun and play around with that. Next, to add more elements, we can press Shift D to duplicate the text and just create some symbols like X or some numbers as well and just place them around your text to create some cool and different elements. I'm using the X and the dots and some arrows here as well to create a nice composition so everything works together. Going back, you can change the extrude of the text as well anytime to give it a bit more depth and 3D look. Now the next part is all about having fun and creating cool and different variations. We can go back to the text material anytime, play around with the color and the roughness as well to create some different looks. Also updating the hue and saturation on the world setting as well to create different results. To put this text into different environment, all you have to do is just update the texture in the SDRI settings and our environment will automatically update. As you can see in the tutorial, I'm just flipping through these cool SDRIs and the lighting is updating automatically. So just play around and have fun with this and create some cool and different looks. Next, we can go ahead and create some fun experiments as well. I'm gonna take this text and duplicate it a couple of times by pressing Shift D and you can see we can go around here creating a cool look. Besides that, I'm gonna copy this whole thing and put it behind our camera and it'll create this cool wrapping texture around the edges as you can see in the tutorial which looks really cool. You can change the color and have fun with this. Now with this artwork done, I'm gonna create a part too soon as well. We will turn this into a Spotify and Apple Music animation as well. So stick around, like and subscribe and let's turn this into an animated version in the next one. Thanks for watching.